Hi, I'm Chris Curry, creative professional and photographer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this really simple and easy displacement map technique inside of Photoshop. This is really easy to do, we're only using three layers. Let's not waste any time and jump right in. First thing we're going to do is import our layer that we're going to be working with. Then we want to go down to our adjustment layers and select hue saturation, turn that all the way down to zero and we are going to save this. What we're doing here is we're saving our displacement map that we're going to use for the text layer in a minute. Once that's saved, we can turn off this adjustment layer. I'm going to tap T on my keyboard to get my text tool. Then I'm going to type out my text. We're going to go with order and control for this. I'm going to align this using command A to select the whole composition, then use the alignment tools in the bar above. What we want to do now is convert this text layer to a smart object. And I'm going to scale this down just so it fits within this space and check that it's aligned once again. Now what we need to do is add our displacement map that we just made. To do that we go to filter, distort and displace. I'm going to set my horizontal scale to 25 and vertical scale also to 25. Everything else looks good there so I'm just going to select OK. And then what we need to do is select our displacement map that we just made. I'm going to hit OK here. We can see how the displacement map has affected the text and blended it with the background. The problem we've got now is the text is too white. What we want to do is show more of the texture of the brick wall behind and make it look like it's actually been imprinted or painted onto the wall. There's a few different ways we can do this, but this is the most simple. We're going to go down to our background layer and hit Command J to create a copy. Then I'm going to bring this above my order and control text layer. I'm going to right click here, then I'm going to click Create Clipping Mask. With this layer selected, double tap here to bring up the layer style options. What we're going to do is use luminosity to blend our background layer with the text. To do this, we're going to go to blend if and we're going to be working on this layer. If we bring down the lights, you'll start to see the text layer becoming visible again. At the moment, we're only revealing any pixels above a value of 78, but this is leaving us with a lot of harsh dark areas. To smooth this out, hold option and click this handle to split it into two. This creates a softer split between the light and dark areas and makes it look more natural. I'm just going to bring this right down so you can see fully how this works. But what we're going to do is, I'd say about there, that looks right. But you know, you can play around with this. You can actually reduce this to make it look a bit more faded. Or if you want more contrast and to be more visible, you can actually just bring it up. This is a really simple but versatile technique that can be used in a variety of different ways. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.